Nice uh, sweater there on the uh, on the old dog there, Kate. <laughs> Thanks, David. Well, we all love to spoil our pets. This is my dog, Ollie. He's mad I woke him up for this hit. He'll definitely be getting a gift or two under the tree this year. And while I might be a crazy dog lady, I am certainly not alone. Data show that pet parents will spend big this holiday season, which is really no surprise as so many have adopted and brought pets home during the pandemic, particularly many dogs. Deloitte data show that about half of shoppers surveyed this year say that they will be buying supplies, uh, and treats for their pets this year, spending about $90 on average. Bigger retailers like PetSmart and Chewy.com are poised to benefit, and likely also Amazon, Walmart, and Target as owners stock up on food and presents for their pets. But small businesses like Andy's Pet Shop in San Jose, California, are also seeing a boost. Owner Lisa Shun says that demand is soaring. In fact, she stopped advertising as the staff is already stretched thin and business is up about 20% over last year. It's a trend that's been growing over the years and decades is that people are treating their pets as a family member. And we have birthday cakes for dogs and we have these gigantic bones that dogs just go crazy for even if they're little dogs and can't handle a bone that size. People get a lot from their pets. They get emotional benefit and they want to give that back to the pet. Separate data from SunTrust show that dog owners are more likely to gift their pets than cat owners. No surprise here. I mean, I'm definitely going to spoil this guy as I do every year. Back over to you. Yeah, as you probably do every day, right? I mean, Jim Cramer had this thesis a long time ago. I think it's borne out. The humanization of pets, right? They used to be outside, then they got inside. Now they basically are with us all the time, including sleeping with us, I guess. I mean, David, this dog sleeps in a king-size bed, and he's wearing a hoodie. So I don't really need to say any more, right? <laughs> oh, is that a hoodie? I couldn't see that. He looks very cool. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> in case it He's rains. been a good sport. He deserves, he deserves a treat. Yeah, well, we got some cat lovers here, including Mike Santoli. Well, I think it's going to, uh, maybe it'll bear out your point there, Kate, that people do tend to lavish more gifts on dogs than cats, maybe because dogs seem to uh, appreciate it more. But <laughs> I'm wondering if, um, if, if there's any sense out there that we're seeing that, that, that the adoption trend at least has slowed down at all. Was this strictly a, a stay at home phenomenon? Are the, are the, uh, the, the pet vendors uh, also going to have some kind of a, uh, a little bit of a give back effect next year? Yeah, I think that'll be interesting to watch, Mike, but I know the small business owner that I interviewed said basically they ran out of pets and they had so many dogs adopted during the past few months. But she mentioned, you know, everyone's going to have to go back to work eventually. So all of these new pet parents are going to have to get dog walkers, et cetera. So I think that part of business will also probably go up, too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.